everyone. I'm here with Christine Catherine Rush, who is also known by a lot of different names. I am. She's got a fantastic blog. If you haven't followed her blog before, she does a lot of really cool stuff for authors. She's very blunt. Yeah, you can find it at chriswrites.com, K-R-I-S, writes.com. Yeah, and um, I've got a couple of questions for Chris. So yesterday we were talking about being a prolific writer, and you told me a little anecdote about people who clean streets. Could you tell them that? Sure. I live here in Las Vegas, and um, we were walking to the conference that morning, and there had been a parade the night before and everything else along the route that we walked, a big festival. And I knew when I went to bed that night, I looked out and there was garbage on the street, there were still people. By the time I got up the next morning, which was 7, the streets were clean. There was nothing. There weren't even bags of garbage sitting around. And I thought, you know, I don't know about most people who clean streets, but I bet they're not happy about doing it every day. They don't get up and think, yay, I get to clean the street. <laughs> and, you know, but they worked and they worked hard and they got it done. And writers usually should get up and think, yay, I have to, you know, write this particular scene. And we don't. Yeah. And we don't have that kind of enjoyment and we don't work hard. And I don't know why. It's, writing's a lot more fun than cleaning streets. Yeah, so we were just talking about how important it is if you want to be successful as an author to just do your job. I yes. mean, your job is writing, right? And then also, where you, okay, how many words do you write and how many books do you publish a year? How many words do you write a day? I write, I, I had a chronic illness. I have a chronic illness, and when it flares up, I write about 3,000 words a day. Um, and it's five to six days a week. And <laughs> if I'm um, healthy and feeling good, it's four to five to six to I don't know how many deadlines but, if yep, you have them. Yep. Yeah. And how much, you know, extra time I can squeeze in. Yeah. And you and take a day off a week. I take a day off a week. That's good. Because it just keeps me healthier, to be honest. That's nice. I've had a lot of people say, you need to be writing every day. I'm like, I can't. I can't, I can't. write every day. I need to take a break. Well, I actually need to consume stories for as well as stories. Yeah. So I take a day, go see some movies, read a book. Yeah, that was my next question, actually. So with you writing so quickly, how do you come up with plot? So uh, It's a muscle. It, you just develop it over time. Point, yeah. And so I, I don't even think about it anymore, but it took nice. years to do it. And I used to plant myself in front of the computer and have a timer across the room and take everything else off the desk and off the computer so the only thing I could do was write. And it, I, uh, I have a hummingbird brain, mm -hmm. so, you know, it, this interests me, <laughs> that interests me, and this interests me. By taking that away, I got bored really quickly, so yeah. I just started making up stories, and yeah. that's how I did it. That's a really, that's really good. I love the muscle, because I'm a fast writer, but I haven't exercised the, the plot muscle as much, so that's really good to hear. I yeah. like that. It's a muscle. All right, well, thank you, and thank you. see y'all later. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.